God, we are here to say to you and to say that we love you. Oh God, we have nothing but to say that we love your presence, oh God. Oh, how good you are. Oh, how faithful you are. And my heart sings a new song to you today. And that I love your presence more than anything. Oh God, I love your presence. I love your presence more than anything. I love your presence, God. So come and meet with me. Meet with me. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. You're worthy to be praised forever and a day. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. You're worthy to be praised forever and a day. Worthy are you, worthy, much more worthy than I've known I cannot imagine just how glorious you are I cannot begin to tell how deep a love you bring Lord, my ears have heard of you, but now my eyes have seen shame that was my own I cannot begin to tell how merciful you've been Lord my ears have heard of you but now my eyes have seen you, you're worthy you're worthy you're worthy you're worthy to be praised forever and a day you are worthy you're worthy you're worthy you're worthy to be praised forever and a day sing glory i give glory glory i give glory to the one who saved my so you did God found me and you free me from the shame that was my own I cannot begin to tell how merciful you've been Lord my ears have heard of you but now my eyes have seen Forever.
shine around. Let your glory shine around. King of glory, here be found. King of glory. So let your glory shine around. Let your glory shine around. King of glory, here be found. King of glory. shift into a time of singing intercession through the word of God. We'll be reading from Colossians chapter 1, verse 9 to 14. As we sing through the word, we'll also be interceding for Australia and for the church plant team. Feel free to open your Bible and read along. This is a time for you to stand in your place of authority in Jesus Christ and to intercede on behalf of Australia. chapter 1 verse 9 and so from the day we heard we have not ceased to pray for you asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding Lord your heart is for your people and you have created us to be a people that encourage one another and pray for each other so tonight we come together as one body and we stand in a place of intercession for our brothers and sisters in Australia as they are forerunning a church plant in Sydney. Lord, may we be like Jesus, the great intercessor, and never cease to pray for them. We call upon you tonight and ask for you to open up the heavens and pour out your wisdom and understanding on each team member. They have partnered with you, Lord, and they are in need of your knowledge. They are in need of a spiritual wisdom that can only come from you. Give them deep understanding and revelation when they are in the secret place with you. Lord, guard their time with you. Protect their time with you. It is so precious. We disallow distraction to come in. We disallow fear to come in. We disallow any time killers to come and steal away their time with you. May they abide in you and receive your wisdom and understanding for the nation of Australia. May they receive your wisdom and understanding for what you want them to do with the church plant. May they receive your wisdom and understanding for the decisions that they make regarding jobs, living spaces, and church plans. Lord, give them knowledge of your divine will and plans for Australia and for the church plant. Let the knowledge of you abound more and more in their minds and hearts that everything they do would be done by your spirit and in agreement with your will. Let their hearts come into alignment with your heart as they re receive more wisdom and revelation. Spirit of revelation, come upon them, come and fill our minds. Oh, would you come and pour out your spirit, God? Them. 
you 
bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Lord, you are the God who causes fruit to grow. You are the God who prunes any branches that do not bear fruit. We have full confidence that you will cause fruit to grow in Australia. We have full confidence that you will empower the church plant team to be filled with an increasing knowledge of you and that you will be the strength of their hearts so that they will walk in a manner that is worthy of you. They are pleasing to you, Lord, as they have stepped out in faith. You love to pour out grace and strength on the weary and needy. Strengthen the team by your grace and cause them to walk in integrity and dignity, bearing fruit with every step that they take. Fill them with your spirit and cause fruit to spring up in everything that they do. Cause fruit to grow as they walk in righteousness and in increasing knowledge of you. Give them the mind of Christ and cause knowledge, wisdom, and discernment to increase in each team member. Let them see the way that you see and come. let them come into agreement with what you are doing in Australia. Let their love for you overflow and abound in the land, bearing much fruit. We prophesy that the knowledge of the Lord is going to spread across Australia like a tsunami as the church plant team takes root in the nation. As your children, they shall bear the fruit as you give them strength to their hearts. You are calling them to live a life worthy of the calling. You are holy, you are called, you are chosen.
that you are a God who goes before with and after and that you already have amazing plans in store and that you're aligning their heart with yours tonight Lord thank you Jesus
than anything I've tasted. I want to know your heart. I want to know your heart. So pull me a little closer and take me a little deeper. I want to know your heart. I want to know your heart. Cause your love is so
you for your kindness and your sweetness towards us. Lord, we thank you for your presence here tonight. We're going to shift into a time of singing intercession through the word. We'll continue reading from Colossians chapter 1, verse 9 to 14. If you have your Bibles, please open up. Colossians 1, verse 11 to 12. May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Lord, you are the one who can strengthen us. You alone can give us endurance and patience that is coated in joy. Lord, build up the church plant team. Clothe them with your might. Clothe them with your joy and strengthen their inner man. Holy Spirit, fill them with a fresh fire and a fresh anointing. Holy Spirit, give them joy in all things. Cause their spirit to cry out in thankfulness and faith as they wait upon you and follow your call. Father, we declare that you have qualified them to share in the inheritance. They are your saints and your sons. Let the heavens open up and pour out their inheritance as they walk in obedience to you. They have inherited your peace. They have inherited your patience, your joy, your glorious might. Holy Spirit, grant them boldness and give them strength when they are weak. Give them grace, Lord, where they are weary. We release strength and might over each team member tonight. You are causing them to be strengthened right now. Holy Spirit, be on them right now. You are causing them to be filled with joy. Let laughter bubble up from within them, Jesus. Let thankfulness overflow from their heart. Let patience be upon them and endurance within them, God. They are receiving their inheritance tonight, Lord. The strength of our hearts, Lord, spilling into joy. Oh, their hearts are being strengthened tonight as you pour out your power with all power, with all power. Oh, in everything, oh, in everything, they move with your strength.
satisfied only in you, God. You have already given all their needs, all their needs. So let this truth set them free to worship you always. We'll praise you
has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. In Jesus, there is no darkness. In Jesus, darkness cannot overcome us. We have been delivered from the domain of darkness, and we have complete freedom in Jesus Christ. We have redemption and forgiveness in Jesus. We claim this for the church plant team right now and declare that Jesus has redeemed each team member, that darkness cannot trespass and overcome them. We acknowledge your saving hand and a hedge of protection that is around them. You are a wall of fire around the team, and they are untouchable. Let their minds be set upon you, Jesus, remembering these promises of redemption and deliverance. Let them remember your goodness and forgiveness. We break off all lies that have been plaguing the team in the name of Jesus, and we declare that they are being renewed by your word and refreshed by your spirit. You are reminding them of your goodness and strengthening their spirit man as they remember that they are delivered from the works of the enemy and that they are free from offense, from sickness, from attacks, from false mindsets, and from all darkness. They are free from the realm of darkness. They are walking in light and living in their inheritance through Jesus Christ. They are renewed and can call upon you, Jesus, for all of their needs. Oh, Jesus, you are the f fulfillment of all the promises. Oh, you satisfy all their needs, oh God, you rescued them all. Oh, who can be against them when you are for them? Who can be against them when you are for them? Who can be against them?
to the ground, that they are remembering your promises. Lord, we thank you for your word, God, and we thank you that your word is deep in their heart, God, and that you are bringing it to their mind tonight, that you're reminding them of your great promises and their inheritance in you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you for your faithfulness.
intercession. Tonight we'll be praying specifically for the land of Australia as well as the New Philadelphia Church plant team that is down there right now. So please join us in prayer and stand in a place of authority because truly this is the real place of government. There may be governmental systems in the world, but when we stand in our place of authority in the spirit, then we can shift what's going on on earth because of the authority of Jesus Christ. Lord, we know that you are a pursuer, that you are a pursuer and a passionate, jealous lover who never ceases to call your sons into your house. We know that just as you have jealously pursued us, you have never stopped pursuing your people in Australia. Though many in Australia have forgotten their first love, you are calling them back. You are drawing them into the desert to speak tenderly to them. You are wooing them back into your presence and your love. Lord, we stand in the gap on behalf of the church in Australia and we declare that you are sending a season of romance where you are going to woo your church and they are going to respond with repentance and zeal and passion for you. Lord, we pray for the church in Australia and specifically for those in Sydney that you, God, that they will set aside all their differences despite their denomination, that they will come together in unity and in brotherly love. Lord, cause the churches to form divine partnerships with one another in the spirit of the Lord. We prophesy that these churches are going to be bound together in love and move forward as one force and authority in Jesus Christ. We prophesy that New Philly Sydney is going to serve as a forerunner for the churches in Sydney to unite and act in love and unity. Lord, you have brought the English ministries together in Korea, and you can do it in Australia, not by by might or by power, but by your spirit, Lord. Have your way in the church in Australia. Send renewal and revival to the church. Let them be bound together in love. Let's pray.
them in Australia and to do your work. Lord, we know that any time that you call us to do something, you will always, always make a way. We declare that you are making a way for the team in Sydney tonight. We declare that there will be no more delays for visas, no more delays for housing, no more delays for jobs. You are releasing your provision. You are opening up the doors that no man can shut. You are making a way. When it looks bleak in the natural, we will stand on faith and trust in you, Jesus. You have all authority on earth and in heaven, and we know that you are above all governmental systems and all monetary systems. You are the great provider. We look to you, Jesus, the anointed one, and we call upon your glorious riches. Pour them out on the team right now. Pour out your favor and blessings. We pray for the team members and declare that they are walking in their identity and in the promises of the Lord. We declare that they are receiving an increase of joy and faith tonight that they are the ones who will rejoice always and pray without ceasing. They will be the ones who walk in peace despite their circumstances. And you are opening up the heavens tonight, oh God, on each member. You are renewing their faith and sending manna from heaven. You're providing for every single need. Not a single need will be overlooked. You're sending divine appointments for jobs and housing. You are sending divine appointments that housing will be set up in your perfect timing. The jobs are going to be over opened up legitimate jobs that will provide stability and substantial financial provision. You're opening up long-term housing that will be in good locations, that will have good facilities, good schools nearby, that they will be in a safe location with good community. You are a good father who loves to give good gifts. So Lord, we declare you are pouring out good gifts to your children tonight, Lord. the good shepherd over Australia and that you see each one of your sons and daughters and you are calling them home. Your heart burns for your sons to come home. You are calling them and you have sent your servants to gather them to your house. We prophesy over the church plant that men and women will be drawn to the glory of the Lord and that they will be established as sons, built up as leaders, and that they will become pillars of the church plant. You have already called certain people to join the team and to establish your house. Release divine appointments for the team members that they will find your lost sheep, that they will find men and women who are gifted and ready to serve. Let them go out and find men and women who are ready to build up the house of God in Sydney. Lord, you are the one who is going to bring your people to carry that mantle in Sydney. And so bring them, Lord. We pray for the open service and for the barbecue and for the Sunday services. We prophesy that people will gather from all walks of life and that they will be plugged in right away, right away. We pray for relationships to be established and that they will take root in the house of the Lord. We break off all fear of commitment in the name of Jesus and we release their hearts to be fully committed. 
We cause, we just declare that hunger, hunger for community and hunger for Jesus is going to rise up in their hearts. That you're going to cause them to be filled with such a hunger that they can no longer ignore your call. So Lord, we have spoken. You have spoken. You have called them by name. It will be done. They will come home. They will come home. And your servants have gone to collect them. So we say, sons, come home and be established. tonight on behalf of Australia and we cry out for an awakening to come to the land not just a small revival that dies out in an instant no we cry for a massive tsunami of revival fire to consume the land that leaves the people forever changed for generations to come we will not settle for a fire that goes out by morning we cry out for your all-consuming fire to engulf the people Lord we take your word from Ezekiel 37 and we speak it out over Australia tonight we prophesy to the valley of dry bones in Australia oh dry bones of Australia hear the word of the Lord thus says the Lord God to these bones behold I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live and I will lay sinews upon you and will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord yes God they will know that you are not dead that you are a living God you are a God who consumes them with fire burn up all impurities in the church purge all sexual sin and abuse from the church God cause the church to rise up out of the ashes and the fire of the Lord to be upon them God cause them to come up from their ashes as a new creation renewed and cleansed by the blood of Jesus let the church walk in her freedom let the church walk in her freedom Jesus we bind up all apathy in the name of Jesus and we declare that passion is filling the hearts of men and women the old and the young awakening awakening is coming we renounce all words that have said that the church is dying we renounce that we cast it off we cast off the lie and we prophesy that the church is rising up we prophesy that the dry bones are coming to life and an army of believers is rising up to take their place fresh encounters with the holy spirit fresh encounters we cash we cast off your ashes you are awakening Australia.
God, that you're consuming Australia with your fire, that you are drawing them into the desert to speak tenderly to your church. God, that it's your kindness that draws them to repentance. And God, it's your fire that consumes them and cleanses them and purges them of all sin, God. It's your Holy Spirit that renews them and refreshes them. God, we thank you for the church plant team that's down there, for their faith. God, that they're going to be forerunners to bringing this revival, Lord. God, that revival is already there. That hunger is being stirred up tonight, Lord. Yeah, yeah. They're your soldiers, Lord. You've crowned each one of them with your splendor. They are your soldiers. They are your forerunners. And you are so pleased with them, God. You're so pleased with them. And God, your heart burns for Australia. Thank you for giving us a taste of your heart tonight, Lord. And let us keep Australia in our hearts tonight, Lord. We thank you, Jesus.
so hard. 